Good evening, folks. Hope everybody's week is going well. We're halfway through the weekend now. Uh, gonna go out to Tunguska, but before I go, I'm going to check my bait store. I haven't been to uh, Tunguska since last week. Getting a little tired of carp out here at Oldberg, though I think they're still fairly active. Go out and see what we can get out of Tunguska. I do want to get some uh, stonefly larva. Just probably sold out there in the low batch. Let's just grab a small batch here. There we go. And anything else I need to get while I am here? Uh, how am I doing on pickles? Good. He's good. All right. Let's head on over to Tunguska. Night's tea is cooling down, but it is Bavarian wild berry. If my voice sounds a little off today, I do apologize. My uh, allergies are kicking in. We're having a nasty day of pollen here, right? So, sorting through that. Let's see. So, uh, I'm going to check my hook size. I want to try size hooks, size six hooks out here today. I usually would go with size one, but I want to try for a little bit higher bite rates. Got, yeah, I don't have good options in six. So let's pick some happy hooks up. Alright, classic, and we'll go with the cheaper ones since we're just doing telescopic anyway. Let's grab three of these. There we go. We'll head out to our usual spot at 82100. Let me put my in game chat in in just a few minutes here. Once uh, that Canadian's gonna be bringing his viewers in once he wraps his stream up and all. Put the announcement up in game once that's done. Uh, six hooks. Oh, I guess I already had six hooks. Okay, well, it doesn't hurt to have some extras. Let's do, do mayfly larva and red worm to start out. Go with, and eh, we'll keep it at a meter depth. And this one, yep, also a size 6 hook. Go, same thing, red worm, and... There we go, first fish already. We've got, like, a little... I can't tell what that is, actually. Ah, a little tiny, broad, white fish. These will tell what they are from the size, but they're brown scales. Out in the water. And I did reach 90% bait harvesting finally, so I'm using the shovel to try to get some of the uh, nice cocks for larva if we can. They are very rare though. I've only managed to, have them, to scoop them up once. Oh, there we go. Make that twice now. They are otherwise a gold only. Uh, bait and actually need to change these floats out because i'm not going to be able to tell which line is attached to which uh float is current and so the white fish there we go something on the other monitor just real quick here thank you drake so much for the um, bits and all that um thank you for everyone's support i will all be right, back at it tomorrow most likely tomorrow will be around probably 6 to 8 p.m Eastern standard time whenever critinius has done his stream so yeah i hope you all had a good stream and yeah, take care, guys. Thank Let's you, Drake. See. Thank you, everyone. I do Let's appreciate get it. And have a good rest set of up day. with uh, my normal float setups here. Get that one on here. And leave this one to three. Let's put in. Leave this one to three.
Let's do... Hey, Canadian, appreciate the raid there. Hope your uh, stream went well tonight. Uh, just the last few minutes over there, where were you, uh, where were you fishing today? Put this one on line three here. And welcome everyone, we're just out here at uh, Tunguska doing some white fishing with the telescopics tonight. Take a little bit of a break from the old bird carping. I oh, appreciate the bits there, Drake. Here we go, so... Got uh, two fish out here so far, but I had to go change my floats out. The current out here, I need to have different floats to know which line is getting hit. But, see if we can't pull some, uh, some nice white fish. And I know there's been some, uh, some trophy pellet out of this spot recently as well, so maybe we'll get lucky and pull one of those. Welcome everyone from Canadian's uh, channel there. And Canadian, by the way, just a reminder, I won't be uh, streaming tomorrow night, so you can uh, don't, don't need to wait on me for tomorrow. You can get started whenever you're ready to go. There's a freaking one there. So I've been experimenting at this spot, trying uh, juggling two different lines at once to keep them both having the drifting with current status to see if it works better and it sometimes helps but i found that it's not a significant enough difference to really try and bother with but one thing i am going to do is a little ground bait out here with some blood worm in it of course we are getting started at uh, pretty much night time so the bite rate is going to be a little bit low but i figure we'll Try this spot for a little bit and there's another spot right up here i want to try and we're not having any luck with either of those we'll go to uh grab the boat and do some telescopic trolling it's always fun to do out here all right here we go got fish on looks like a little tiny pellet maybe nope sardine cisco Yeah. Get all these recasts, let them drift again. And the other thing I want to be focusing on tonight is using the shovel to try to get some of the uh, cockchafer larva now that we are 90% in bait harvesting. It's that fish. And I am using mayfly and redworm on all three lines right now, but I may try mixing that up. A little bit try some other baits that are good out here you get my in-game chat notification and fish along oh, missed it now yeah, the fish here if you're running on telescopic they they bite very quick most of the time you uh you got to be ready to get those hooks set really quick T is cool enough here. Ooh, still toasty, but tonight's tea is a uh, Bavarian wild berry. Very, very tasty. Hard to find these days, though. All right, let's see. We may be getting, if the sardine and Cisco are hitting, which I do have smaller hooks than I normally use out here, they could be doing some false drops with the, uh, the floats. Keep an eye out for that. Oh boy, I've already got a Pickles and Tea Redemption. Alrighty, you've got a Demeter. So those of you that aren't aware, with the channel points, I have a uh, 5,000 point redemption where we do, uh, where I grab a pickle and dip it in the tea here and eat it on stream. It's kind of a, uh, just a joke we've made because our character in here pretty much sustains himself on pickles and tea. So, give me about 45 seconds. I'm going to go to an intermission screen for just about 30, 45 seconds to grab the pickle, and I will be right back.
All right, I am back with the pickle here. I don't know if I missed any fish or not. I'm sure I did, but uh, let's get this pickle and tea time going. Get our, there's a very, very fat pickle here. Get a little bit of it showing up on uh, camera, but it is green, so the green screen will cut a bit of it out here, but ooh. And to resituate how I'm holding that, the tea's still very hot. All right, now this one, we have had the uh, Bavarian wild berry tea with pickles and tea, and it's uh, quite a good combination, actually. Tasted not a lot of crunch to it, though. Mmm. Mmm. Very vinegary pickle on this one, man. Oh, boy. One bit the back of my throat. I see I'm missing a uh, fish there. Fish is lucky today. He's spared by the pickle and tea time. A little bit more dip here. Yeah, not as much crunch on this one, though, for as bad as it was. I was expecting a much, much louder crunch out of it. Still good, though. All right, here we go. Last bite. Hmm. I think it may have been too much that time. Ooh. And that is how you uh, live like a Russian fisherman, apparently, with pickles and tea. Appreciate the support, Demeter. Well, let's see if we can catch some fish. Speaking of pickles and tea, character needs to eat some too. Go ahead and recast all of these. See, the Beaver Wobber, it's, it's good. But my favorite combination of the pickles and tea so far is definitely the Lady Grey because those citrus tones that get left behind on this, the pickle are delicious. And apparently the uh, smell of the pickle has awakened the beast Lex here. A little cat action on camera. <clears throat> Where's everybody else fishing at today? Maybe we can get the sun to come up before too long. Actually, no, I might try since it's nighttime. I'm going to try throwing let's put the uh, Mmm, one of these big larva on here, plus... Let's do just the larva for now. Let's see if we can get a little small sturgeon or something to bite. We got a Yama today, CW. Very nice. I'm so looking forward to getting it unlocked, which, uh, getting very close to level 31, then I can do my third Norwegian sea trip, and hopefully that will... Give me a nice boost towards level 32 to unlock Yama. We'll try this bait option until the sun starts to come back up. But just before the sun went down, I did catch a, uh, a decent whitefish to get things started. I haven't checked the cafe, but sometimes there is a cafe order for like three or four one kilo plus broad whitefish that's usually worth a good bit of silver. So we can get one of those, but I will try these uh, cock shaper larvae through the nighttime. Once the sun comes up, I'll switch back to some whitefish bait. And if this spot isn't panning out, I'll try one spot a little bit further down and then. Lastly, we can hop on the boat and do some good old telescopic trolling. This is a fun map to do so. So I don't know about, is anybody else having some crazy, uh, 
unusually high hydrate coming right up here, FJ, etc. <laughs> Cheers. Has anyone else had unseasonably bad, unseasonably bad pollen this year? Like we're basically in the fall at this point, and our, we're still getting like pollen advisories every day here. It's ridiculous. Come on, sturgeon. A little, a little sturgy sturge. I really don't know if this is a good spot for sturgeon, but figure might as well give it a try. If anyone knows any really active taming spots right now, I am all ears for that because I am trying to get some larger taming on telescopic out here. So far, my largest is only like six kilos. I am all ears for spot suggestions on that or just any other general spots here. I know this area around the camp has been very active for spinning, but because of the current, telescopic does not work very well there. I've caught a few things, but it's most of the time you're fighting trying to get the floats to stay in the water because the current will drag the float or the bait in a way that ends up causing the float to pop out of the water and it no longer works. Let's try let's try a different strategy here. Let's switch to Nightcrawler and Get some stonefly larva. Let's see if that does anything. Another thing I need to try here on Tunduska at some point is I haven't really gone after the tiny fish species you can get here, like the, um, the loaches, the Iberian dace, things like that that you need to use smaller hooks for. So probably need to plan on that at some point in the near future, knocking some of those out. Can we catch any trophies today? Come on, give me a lucky shovel scooping. Yeah, so far, I'd say I've probably done about 100 scoops since hitting 90% harvest baits. And I've gotten one scoop, I got two of those cockshaper larvae, and then one of them Early on stream, I got one, so they are extremely rare once you unlock them. I was hoping they'd be, I, mean, I knew they were going to be rare, but I was hoping they'd be like one in like 10, 15 scoops, not like one in 50. But I guess that's a uh, one of their ways to say that they don't have it locked behind pay to win, but ultimately if you're if you're doing like some serious sturgeon fishing, for example, with them, you're gonna have to uh gonna have to chunk up some gold stretch. You got an FJ. So vertical stretch here, get a little side to side action. There we go, get a little bit of arch in the back. Ah get the blood flowing. Keeping healthy. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll keep two of these drifting the whole time. See if it helps the bite rate at nighttime at all. But fortunately, this is one of those bodies of water that at night, you're just not going to, if you, you kind of have to drastically change your, uh, your tackle strategy up and it just takes too much time. I, I really wish they'd, uh, I mean, I guess if you're, if you have obscene amounts of silver, you can do this by just having more tackle setups, but with the expensive as rods and stuff like that are, I wish they had a way for you to just save loadouts. So that way, if you, you know, if it turns nighttime and I want to switch to a, a nighttime setup, I could just 
go in and set a loadout and it would change all the riggings on my on my rods to go ahead and do that as a as a hot change again if you have a bunch of silver where you can have extra rods and you can just do that already and just have like like for these telescopics i could have a third set of, or a second set of three rods that are set up for nighttime fishing but that's a lot of silver we will go a long way towards making the transition from day and night fishing not so obnoxious it's especially bad for uh I know back when I was doing spin fishing and bottom fishing, I would uh, I would spin fish during the day and then I would bottom fish at night in a lot of areas. Where I would, well, I say I was, I was trolling with the spinners during the day, but because I'm having to change over the reels and everything, it was just like once nighttime or daytime came, it was about three minutes of just changing gear around. A little Cisco. He's all drifting again. There must be, uh, I see some people in, ch in uh, end game chat are fishing for rough right now. I don't know if they're doing that for bait fishing or if there's a spot right now where there's act really active rough trying to go for trophies. Interesting to see though. Usually don't see that many uh, rough coming up in the in game chat. Let's uh let's put the vote here as far as once the sun comes up, do we want to who thinks we should stay at this spot, move up to the spot right up uh I think it's like right here. Or hop in a boat and go telescopic trolling. What do we want to see when the sun comes up most? I'm down to do any of those options. Nighttime here is just such a uh, slow period. Anyone have any uh, any thoughts on between uh, going telescopic trolling or? Find another spot. Dumb deal. Yeah, there must be a really active rough spot because there's two or three people in the in-game chat right now fishing for them and I'm seeing them pop up about every few seconds here. I tell you, I, I want to go for Tamin. If you do you know of a good spot where they're active? Because I have, I've gotten like three randomly. Two of them are actually at this spot, but I just haven't been able to find a place where I can reliably catch them. I absolutely want to go for them, though. There we go. But yeah, I can definitely do some... Uh, some tele trolling on the boats once the sun comes up. I'll recast. Be just uh, another minute or two before the sun comes up, it looks like. Another spot out here that I'm keeping an eye out for notes that it's active is right up here. Because this is one part on the stream where you can actually use all three telescopics pretty effectively. So if that area ever gets active, I definitely want to try that out. 
And at some point, I really need to play around with the uh, little lake up here that's got the char and whatnot. Nice uh, trophy gibble there, Demeter. Those, go, those gib gibbles, man, they've been trophying it up this week, haven't they? I've lost count on how many I've gotten in the last couple of days. All right, the sun's starting to come up here, so. Yeah, that's what I've been doing, going after either the eel or grass carp out there and the big old trophy and pollution keep hopping on. All right, so now the sun's coming up, let's go ahead and rent a boat ticket and do some telescopic trolling. Nice little one day ticket. Do I have an unused one day ticket already? That's Angusca. Looks like it. Okay, well, save a little money then. No reason to buy an extra. I'm going to start going. Go. All right, uh, let's start by trolling up to this side and then we'll go back the other way. But let's go ahead and kick the pulling motor on once I get it straightened out. So, and what bait should I go with? Let's go with the double larva since. Actually, we'll go with lar with uh, mayfly and red worm. Expand our options for what we're fishing for. We'll go with a, a two meter depth. Here we go, telescopic trolling time. Still a little bit early to expect very many bites, but shouldn't be long now before they start hitting. It's a little bit further out. Also start. I find that the best spot to do it is kind of like along the edges of the deep holes. No, just a uh, getting through the night time. Didn't have anything bite really. We got like one Siberian Cisco, so I'm just trying some uh, telescopic trolling out here. Unless anybody knows any hot taming spots to go after. Been a while since we've done any uh, tele trolling, so figured today would be a good day to do it. To pick some good uh, cucumber, pickled cucumbers, and tea for lunch. <laughs> I wonder if the uh, bait preferences here have changed. Let me check the weeklies. Let's see what we've got. I mean, it still looks like it's still generally the same stuff. Well, you know, Russian fishing. Pickles and tea is all we eat. <laughs> right, let's try let's go a little bit deeper let's bring it down to uh, three meters sounds good let's start the trolling motor back up a few more casts if we don't get anything I'll swap the bait out try uh, maybe stonefly larva or dung beetle something like that Wake up fish. It is still a little bit early in the morning, I guess.
Maybe we'll get lucky and get a nice 10 kilo taming on here. I'm still not sure once I, uh, once I'm to the point where I, I'm done with bait harvesting and can save my silver up for another rod upgrade. I'm still debating between going with one of the larger ultralights or going for the uh, trophy seeking telescopic. There we go. Uh, I'm leaning towards the trophy seeking telescopic. There we go. Got an Arctic O mule. One forty nine sixty nine. Okay, you know uh, probably which grid sector that is. I'll make note of that when I'm trolling that way. I think it's like up here somewhere. Let's see, Brandon got a trophy roof. A super high bite rate yet. Let's uh, let's change some bait around. Let's put um, let's put caddisfly larvae in here. End of the twelve pole, closest to border. Okay, so all right, so it's down. Actually, right where we're hitting, I guess. Okay. That's 149.69. Okay, so we're at 69, so... Fish on here. It's like a broad whitefish, possibly, or a pellet. Pellet, there we go. 149. Which direction is that here? It's going to be up towards the northern side of it. Move towards that sector and try to get some tame in that way. Let me actually check the absolutes on tame in to see. I like the absolutes, but just this lake. Uh, so if we switch to grasshopper and cockshaper larva, maybe we can target a little bit better or maybe do nightcrawler and grasshopper let's actually try that grasshopper and nightcrawl nothing else the nightcrawler should attract a lot of the other fish that the red worm was attracting so if they're not quite getting the tame then it's just if it were in a very shallow spot here. Further out. On the edge, almost in six, you say. Okay, so like right over here. Got it. All right, so I'm going to get into the uh, middle of the 12 hole and start heading that direction in that case. <laughs> Let's hope for some nice taming. We've got a size six hook on here, so it should uh, should keep us from getting any of those big twenty plus kilo tame that will snap the line, or at least reduce the odds of getting them. Hmm. But I'm definitely hoping to at least try to get some ten kilo plus ones.
Yeah, where are we at? We're on the right track here. What uh, what depth do you reckon they'll be at? Got lower or deeper? I don't know if the uh, if the if people are spinning for them with like hot water things or deep cranks. Now the three I got the other spot were along the shoreline, so they were only at like a meter deep. I switch into that. I know it's worked before. You assume deeper. It's a tough call. Let's go. Let's uh. Let's meet in the middle and go at two meter deep. Now, a little bit closer to that area now. And do you know if the uh, if that spot was hot from trolling or were they stopping the boat and casting? A tiny white fish there. I want to put, use the cockchafer larva with the night crawler, but my concern is those larva are still very hard to come by. I don't want to end up wasting them on like broad white fish like that. Stopping and casting. Okay, so we'll try once I get to that spot. I'll uh, I'll stop and just do some basic floating there. See if we have any luck. Yeah, we got. Uh, a grayling, okay. Tiny grayling. Going towards the right a little bit here. Got a little bit of pickle action. And some tea to go with that pickle. We're looking for one forty nine sixty nine. Get lined up on 69 first since we're just about there. Go. I just need to head, I guess, in this direction a little bit further. Towards the buoys. Something pushed it right out of the water there. I don't know what that was all about. You might be getting shallow water. That's probably what it was. Fairly close now. Let's hope we can get one of these taming out here tonight. Almost there. One more cast, and then uh, we'll just switch to just go full boat control and zip over to the spot.
Nothing. All right, let's go and get over to that taming spot and see what we can do. 149.69, here we come. It's going away from it, like this. Pretty. Forty-eight, sixty-nine, almost there. Hey Bethany, how's it going? You want uh, out here at Tunguska going to try to do a bit of uh, some taming fishing at this spot here since it was recently an active taming spot. All right, what's well, the depth of this area? I guess we're still. Uh, do you know which direction they were going, Kenny? If they were going out towards the shallower spot or staying in the 12 meter hole when they were fishing this area? You go ahead and drop this down to like a four meter depth, I guess, either way. Let's go 4.5. And we'll do grasshopper plus cockshake larva. Here we go. Come on, taming. Casting west? Okay, so we'll let it uh, sort of drift off in that direction then. It takes so long for this to reach its depth. And when you get these set super deep from a boat, it gets a little bit wonky. Let's bring it in just a little bit here. 375. So we'll cast it out right here and let it drift to the west there. Hope for the best. We've got a size 6 hook on there, so... Hopefully that will help with the bite rate. I just wish you could use the uh, rod holders in the boat for other telescopics. I right, just keep drifting since that's got the... Uh, best chance of getting them to hit. And we'll keep it up here for a little bit. If we don't have any luck, then I'll get back to trolling and go for some uh Pellet and musk, muskins or muxons, whatever they are. Casting this side. Actually, let's go ahead and do Nightcrawler. Get some double meat action on here. Out, Taman. Still actually drifting. All right, so let's uh, leave it be for a minute. And hope for the best. I feel like it's just super hard to target payment on these. Yeah. 
we don't have any luck here, we can go back to trolling. Drift again. Yeah, like trying to, to target them on this, it's... Anytime I've gotten them, it's just been randomly. Two times it's been fishing from the shore, one from trolling. It's just, uh... I don't know, there's, there doesn't seem to be a good strategy for targeting them with telescopic, unfortunately. Just luck of the draw, more or less. I think we probably just need to go back to uh, trolling and see if we get lucky on it. Go ahead and do that. Bring the uh, anchor up here. Go with a fly larva and I'm gonna keep going with red worm. Try some dumb beetle. We haven't really messed with those here yet. Flame motor back on. Motor kicked off on me. Must have actually hit S and W there. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and get another random Heyman wall trolling. Go count. I need to bring the uh, depth on this up a little bit too. Come on, I'll fish. Got there at uh, Oldberg again, Bethany. I might end up back at at uh, Oldberg later out off stream if things don't pick up here at Tunguska. I want to get a bit of a break from from there though since I've been streaming from there the past excuse me past two nights. All right dung beetle you're not giving me any good luck here. I'm switching back to red wire. Let's go back down to two meter depth. So, can you, have you seen this uh, recent video rolling around with? It was, I don't know where it was at, but there was like a giant, uh, giant carp that was like just kind of sitting around on a piece of uh, ice over a partially frozen river. I got saw that earlier. I was cracking up like, oh no, Carpzilla's coming for us. Growing legs. I'm just sitting there, just looking around. They had those in uh in Florida. They I can't remember what they're like mudfish or something like that, but if it's raining, you'll see them just skipping across the roads when there's just like a little tiny bit of water. It is a it is a slow day out here on Tunguska. In a shallow spot here or something? That was weird. Vultures. I tell you. 
I also need to figure out a good uh, catfish spot. Go after some of those armor catfish out here more aggressively. Hey, a float fishing game. I'll take that from some random little non-marker Cisco. <laughs> slowly, very, very slowly working towards 100% float fishing. Active catfishing spot, Act 2, but well, Act 2 but itself catfishes me. Everyone's always like, hey, it's active. I go over there. Act 2 says, nope, not for you. Like a pellet, I think. Oh, so, man, when those rod whitefish are small, you can't see any of the brown tone on them. I switch back to a size one hook as small as these fish have been. You are at the uh, amber or bear there, Demeter. See you catching those common carp. Actuba. Ugh. Traitor. <laughs> I wish, I wish Actuba didn't hate me so much because there are so many fun fish species there. But it, it truly, other than like the one wild carp spot, it truly hates me. Let's try a baby mayfly in a grown-up mayfly. Really, I think the biggest problem with that tuba for telescopic fishing is that it has a very, very inconsistent uh, river bottom where two spots like within a meter of each other will be like two meters difference. And they'll, they'll be, it's almost like they have a bunch of potholes in it. And so when you combine that with the really fairly quick moving currents they have, it's about impossible to keep a telescopic in a good spot that like when the pond is active, it's good, but when you're out on the river, it's just really difficult to keep the telescopics where you want them. So close to a blue, blue tag. Well, at least it was a trophy, though, so that counts for something. Yeah, okay, back to that one, then. This has got to be the slowest day I've had out here on uh, Tunguska. It's bad. It'll all be worth it if we catch one taming. So you're going after buffalo out there at Actuba, or specifically going after those carp? Saw the buffalo pop up there as well. Which, that, uh, that telescope you got from the giveaway over the weekend can actually do fairly decent there at uh, Actuba, just be a little bit mindful of using a larger hook, but a lot of those, um, like the, a lot of the buffalo and wild carp and stuff you're going to get there are generally not going to be bigger than like six to eight kilo. So you can uh, try whipping that sucker out. Do I using that one? Very good. That was kind of the worst luck I had there when I was fishing for wild carp. I'd find a spot where it was active, but like nine out of ten of the carp would not even be markers. Yeah. Size one knot hook. Well, Tele trolling is not being very uh fruitful here today. I appreciate the uh follow there, this gaber. Welcome to the channel. Let's go ahead and roll over to the shore and let's head back up to our shoreline spot and get three lines back in the water. 
actually. We'll do this the even quicker way. We'll do a uh, fast travel. It's not cheating. I swear. Will you be able to buy like extra motors for these boats? They're just too slow. Alright, let's head over here to our 82-100 spot between the rocks. And we have some more luck here. Uh, one meter deep. Switch, let's put this one at double larva. Change the bait. Double larva, I said. There we go. Nine two, bring the depth down. We'll have it on Mayfly and Red Worm. And line three, we'll do Stonefly and we go and do a little bit of shoveling. Hopefully, we get a cockshaper larva. Nope. Nightcrawlers isn't bad though. I'm using a lot of those at Oldberg. Come on, fish. Wake on up. Let me throw some uh, some bloodworm. Ground bait out there. See if it helps the bite rate out at all. Let's keep uh, recasting these, get the drift going. Yeah. All right, finally got one on. Let's see what we've got. Looks like small white fish or small pellet, I think. All white fish. You know what? Since we're getting all these small fish, I'm going to go ahead and just change these all to size one hooks. Let's see if we can't pull some of the uh, four kilo broad white fish out of the water. This one, I think it's already got a size one on. Yes. And swap this one to size one. Fish, come on in. Suffice to say, I would I do not recommend Tunguska for float or bottom fishing right now. It has been very slow compared to usual. But it did have like three weeks in a row where it was very good, so I suppose it was about due for a slowdown. Shovel in here. Hey, we got one. All right. Figure uh, I'll be going back to Oldberg later, where I know things are biting. Small pellet or muck sun. 
Nope, Cisco actually. Didn't see the brown fins on it. There's a terrible bite rate out here today. Got a nibble on mine too, I think. Very, very gentle nibbles there. Nope, that one was a false drop. All right. There are a couple of the fish out here where their bite pattern will do the, the false drop like that. It looks like uh, grayling and brown trout may be active if you're doing some spin fishing, though. I imagine it's probably up here around the campsite. That area, as far as I know, has been pretty active lately. And I've got an ad break rolling in here just to uh, prevent pre-roll ads. Keep on fishing through it, maybe catching something. I got a nibble on one here. Acting like one of the ones is going to do a false drop. We'll see if that's the case. And a nibble on three. So just a gentle nibble on one, it looks like. Those, all right, we've got another maybe Cisco. No, a dace, all right. Haven't caught too many of these out here. Surprised that I got that on a size one hook, honestly. Uh, eh. Another one. The timing's off. It's been too long since I've been out here at Tunguska. Another shovel in here, hopefully get some good larva action. Nope, just a worm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely think I'll be going back to uh old bird before long because this this bite rate is just terrible Yo, really still missing them and he's got some weird float action then yeah i've just gotten used to uh carp since that's all i've been fishing for a while Going after some uh, golden tinch, Brana, <laughs> or uh, Bethany, I mean. Good luck on it. 
I haven't gotten the uh, golden tinge trophy. I've gotten the regular tinge trophy. I've got a nibble on one here. False drop. Man, this is... Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and uh, call Tunguska a bust for today. This is just bad. Let's see if we at least got some uh, crappy little cafe order we can fill. We don't get stuck on the uh, terrain here. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe... No, we got two or four. Does not look like it. Okay, well... The... Yeah, it seems like it's a... Uh, it, the stream, I think, has been active up here for spinning across the... Uh, towards the smaller stream. But the main body of water, it is just pretty much dead. I mean, it was even just a couple of weeks ago we were getting this spot over here was just crazy and trolling. We were tele trolling, we were getting a lot. Did we even look? I'm, I'm going to be excited if I even got enough to make up for the trip out here. I'm going to guess this is like 17 silver. <laughs> see what we've got. I don't think there's even enough to justify a, uh, a guessing round here. This is just a. Uh, no, there's 34, so at least I made it. Made up for the trip, at least. This was not a good day at Tunguska, to say the least. I think I'm going to uh, probably go and wrap things up a little bit early here tonight. I'm going to get some uh, some food in me, and probably later on I'll go out to uh, Old Bird make up for this travesty. But I won't be streaming tomorrow. However, Friday, the day after tomorrow, I'm planning on... Uh, doing my first trip out to the archipelago to see if we can make telescopic work out there. So definitely tune in for that. We'll see if we can catch some, at least Ladoga salmon. And I don't know what, what else is there that we could possibly catch Canadian. I haven't uh, looked at what all species they've got there. I know they've got the Atlantic and Ladoga salmon and some sturgeon. Let's hope we can make it a real good day out there. We'll, uh, I need to figure out what all I've got the leeches, I've got the gamaroos. I need to make, see if there's any other baits I need to stock up on for it. But we'll, uh, let's let grab some pickles here and get our end of stream shovel action here. Come on. Well, give me a little bit more energy. Hopefully, we can end with some uh, cock shaped larvae. Salmon are dead right now. Perfect time to go out there, right, Dimitri? <laughs> well, well, I guess I'll keep it up. If it's like completely dead, then we may hold off because we don't want to spend 400 silver and catch nothing. But as long as I'm seeing there's at least some being caught, then we'll head out there. Here we go. Come on, give us some good luck. Eh, red worm and worm. Not great. With that said, I... Uh, Fortunately, yeah, I think we can say that Tunguska is not the place to be right now. It seems like carp are the way to go currently. Or Actuba seems to be fairly good. But we'll, uh, we'll see how things go. Again, no stream tomorrow night, but definitely tune in. I think even if the salmon are dead, we'll make our, our trip out there and uh, at least scope it out, see what it looks like, get some idea of spots we can try. See if the troll... Uh, does, does the uh, archipelago have a current in the water? Because if it's got a current, it it uh, then I have a lot more faith in the trolling. The ones that don't have a current, we haven't had much luck in the, uh, the telescope. So as long as it's got some, then that, uh, that gives me a good feeling. So say smelt out there and stuff like that. I'll... Um, I guess I'll look at the species board for it and see what sort of uh, what sort of baits I need to look up. I wish you could see, like, I wish you go in the records here, and I wish you could just select a particular lake and not be 
tied to only the lake you're on. So I could sort of preview what's out there. And I guess I could go to like absolute telescopic and look for probably um we want to absolutely let's see if there's anything on here from that body of water the dogar oh, here we go dogar archipelagos so yeah leech and gamaroos that seems to be the primary lake we're going after so it seems like char would be a good thing to try to target um here we go gray char grayling so dung beetles possibly uh, diving beetles don't have any of those so I guess I can try and grab some of those uh, anything else some more leech stonefly larva hey eh? so like that's uh, here we go some more diving beetle right boy right now it's just beautiful that's some expensive stuff right there don't fly larva so I can grab that. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything particularly out of the norm. A lot of it's the same stuff you find on Ladoga Lake, so pretty well suited for it, I think. Should be a good time. But anyways, we'll go ahead and wrap things up here. I hope everyone has a good night and a good day, depending on which uh, time zone you're in. And have some good fishing. I will see you all next time. Take it easy, folks.